All right, I said I'd do a YouTube video of uh, the car I got given, luckily, off Lions of Limerick, so I'm an ambassador for them. Um, very lucky to have it, so it's not really my car, I'm an ambassador for Lions. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick tour of the car. It's in between the Evoke and the Sport. Um, there's loads of different specs. It ranges from price range of like 60 grand to 90 grand, depending on what spec you have. This one is the D180 SE. Um, so yeah, I'm delighted with it. It's very slick. The black alloys are one of my favorite parts, but it really makes it look kind of slick. The smoothness of the edges. Um, if you come in here, I'll show you the handles. The handles actually are in the car, so it gives you that smooth slickness all the way through, and they pop out to you when you want to get in, which is perfect. <coughs> um, tinted back windows. This is a two liter. Um, for anyone that's wondering, obviously it goes all the way up to, to three liters and, and beyond, but um, this one's a two liter, it's enough for me. So I'll show you the boot now. There's two ways to open it. There's supposed to be a little, uh, something down here that you can kick, but it never really works. There we go. <laughs> so you can do it by that. You really have to reach in. So if you're carrying a couple of bags, you could do that. There's also a button here you can press that pops it up. Um, so it's huge. Yeah, it's something like 600 and over 600 liters is how they measure it. Um, there's room for hanging your washing bags. If you need to do that, a uh, spare wheel underneath this fella which is handy to have um, hopefully I never have to use it loads of space this actually pops off as well handy enough pop down there and the seats fold back um, but you actually have to do it from the inside so I can show you that so loads of space for whatever you need both sides obviously fall down so whatever you need it for, for storing stuff, for having a, a nap, whatever you need it for, it's perfect. So yeah. And then if we move into the car, um, sure look, we'll sit into it. Yeah, so as I said, this is the Range Rover Velar. It's perfect for me. Um, it has all the power and speed I need, but it's also very comfortable, drives lovely. Um, my, one of my favorite parts of the car is the cream um, interior, the pure leather, and I've left the, uh, the tag on it <laughs> to show that the leather is real and genuine. Don't know why, don't know who wouldn't believe me, but yeah, I've left that on there. Um, there's also kind of a trim of suede on it, which is gorgeous. Um, so easily dirty, but I'm okay with that to, <laughs> to keep it looking well. Um, there's loads of space for elbows, so you won't be fighting with your the passenger. Um, there's two sides to it. With plenty of storage in the middle. I got my Ray Bans in there. Um, car mix, which is key. Always gotta have some of that in you. You never know when you might need it. Um, plenty of space here. Three cup holders. Um, it's obviously it's an automatic car um, so the What would you call it the gear stick it was not even gear stick It's more of a gear knob um, Changes such an easy change 
really comfortable um, love that about it um, it's also the interface is gorgeous it's all touchscreen um, so you can navigate from settings obviously do all your bits there um, your vehicle and all the different modes so there's the dynamic eco is the one I'm in most of the time I don't really change out of that no real need to there's comfort um, grass gravel snow for when it's snowing and I'm baiting through a bit of grass and gravel mud ruts uh, don't know when I'll ever need that and the last one which is very necessary is sand for when I'm uh, baiting around all the beaches or whatever or going to those desert tours um, but look it's cool to have all those different options and um, there's the climate I'll turn it on um, it's all the different fans that sync it up um, so it's really easy to control it all the temperatures um, you have the normal buttons if you do want it um, you can also connect into your phone of course so connect into my phone there leave that off for now there's the navigation um, so it's everything you want there's the parking sensors Bluetooth home um, Here's the interface here. Also the control panels on the wheel, so it's a leather wheel, it's gorgeous. Um, you can do the volume by obviously up and down or you can spin your thumb around here and that changes the volume as well. So you can see that there. So as I'm spinning the volume's going up and down which is kind of a cool feature. Um, changing the song, making calls, um, that's a bit of a TOC, touch of class. There's lane assist um, for keeping you on the straight and narrow when you're doing those long journeys. There's cruise control, there's a limiter, which is very handy um, for those long journeys as well. Um, your panels, for if you like to have the manual feel of the car, switching the gears yourself. Um, so yeah everything you could want really loads of space over here this is a gorgeous just piece of uh, cream leather glove box there could be more room in there really if I'm gonna be picky but um, I have this from my granny which is essential for car which is essential from any cars in my family um, which is a John Bosco medal just keeps you safe um, so I keep that one very close to my heart. My granny actually passed away there only very recently. Um, miss her loads, but always keep this near me and keep me safe. And all of us grandkids and all of us will be safe in our cars with this kind of stuff from granny. So lots of love, miss her loads. Um, so yeah, I'm delighted with this car, honestly. Who wouldn't be? Um, I feel very lucky, very fortunate to have it. Um, Thanks very much to Lions of Limerick uh, for letting me be an ambassador. So yeah, the cars I had before this, the one I had before this was a Peugeot 307. Before that was a Peugeot 206. Um, and I also had a Ford Focus uh, in there somewhere as well. So they're decent cars, but this is just next level. I'm very lucky to have it. Um, so yeah, let me show you the back as well. So yeah, plenty of space back here. Um, there's not many people back here. I don't uh, don't really drive around with many people in the car. Just the lads were going to training, so pretty much untouched the back seat of the car. Still has that gorgeous cream um, leather and suede. Plenty of room. So I'm just under 5'11", as I mentioned before. Wouldn't be the tallest. And plenty of head space there. Always a room for the knees. Um, also has uh, the clips for baby seats um, which is handy for when I have a baby I suppose <laughs> hopefully not for a while and um, there's cup holders in the middle here so yeah that's the back of the car anyway Another very cool feature that comes with the car is the app. Um, so there's a Land Rover app that lets you control 
basically like the climate of the car so you can turn on the heater um, if you're in your house and it's a freezing cold day and you don't want to go outside yet you can flick the car on and uh, tell it what temperature you want it to be or you can check if the car is locked um, you can lock it from wherever you are in the world I hope you enjoyed uh, watching that little video there. Please like, comment and subscribe and cheers, thanks for watching.